And we start tonight with the Cyhawk series. The coveted Cyhawk trophy leaves Jack Trice Stadium with the Iowa Hawkeyes. Local 5 Sports Director John Schaefer joins us now. John, a tough day for the Cyclones. Yeah, that's right, John. The uh, build up to today's Cyhawk game could not have been any bigger. Number 10 versus number 9. Two teams with playoff hopes, two stellar defenses, two offenses, kind of trying to find themselves in the biggest game on the slate in college football today. All eyes were on Ames. One team showed up. Another was not really anywhere to be found. Let's get right to it. The Cyclones sending two of their starting Iowans out with today's kid captain. ISU deferred after winning that coin flip. This one was a defensive battle in the first half. ISU up 3-0 when Brock Purdy dropping back. Looking deep, but it's a wounded duck. Matt Hankins with the interception. Crowns it. Hawkeyes offense going right to work from there. They march right down the field. Tyler Goodson, four yards out, has a seam. Iowa goes up 7-3. After another ISU punt, Iowa going to be back in striking distance here. Spencer Petrus with a dime to Charlie Jones. 26 yards, 14-3. They looked out a hand with a minute left in the first half. Iowa State, though, puts together the one-minute drill. Purdy putting it on the numbers for Darren Wilson Jr. And Darren Wilson Jr. going to hit the Jets. 49 yards, pushed out at the four. From there, they go to the bell cow. It's Brees Hall. Fighting for every inch, he gets it in, just reaching over the goal line. And Iowa State cuts the lead to four at half. Second half, still 14-10. Hand off on the stretch play. Brees Hall looking for some room to work. Justin Jacobs jarring the ball loose on the hit. Jack Campbell scoop and score. The wind sucked out of Jack Trice Stadium at the very moment. 21-10 ball game. Second play of Iowa State's very next drive. Purdy's pass to Xavier Hutchinson. Right through his hands and right to Seth Benson. That amounts to a field goal 24-10 game. The next drive for ISU, and the horror continues. Tipped pass, Matt Hankins, Johnny on the spot, returns it into Cyclones territory. And that carries us into the fourth quarter. Just an absolutely horrific showing of offense in the third quarter for the Cyclones. And then Caleb Shudak from 22 yards out. That's good, 27-10. While that was happening, Hunter Deckers was warming up for the Cyclones. Matt Campbell just trying to figure out what has happened to his team. Deckers would go 11 of 16 for 114 yards. Here he's going to find Tariq Milton in the end zone. Searching, searching, finally finds him. That's a 27-17 game, but the comeback was nowhere to be found from there. Iowa taking victory formation. Spencer Petrus to the knee, and the Cyhawk Trophy will just keep collecting dust out in Iowa City. The defense re deserves all of the credit for the second week in a row. Every day we come into practice uh, setting the standard for four turnovers a day. And that's what we strive to do uh, um, in practice come game time. I think we did that goal today. Yeah, it was, it was a great moment, but like I really can't take credit for that. I mean, that's 10 other guys scrapping and calling to get that ball out. And I was just blessed with, to be in that position to just pick it up. I mean, I, I didn't really do much other than like just pick up the ball and run. But uh, man, yeah, it was an awesome feeling just being from Iowa. Just having the opportunity to go out there and, and do that at Jack Trash Stadium was pretty cool. Um, so, I mean, I can't really take credit for that, but uh, it was an amazing feeling. Uh, uh, there's always room for improvement. Uh, we've just been talking about the standard, and uh, each and every week we're trying to raise the standard, keep the standard, and, and just push everybody on the field. So uh, next week we got another big job. We can't, we can't focus on what we did in the past. We just have to build on it and keep getting better because we always know there's, uh, there's definitely room to improve. <laughs> you know, three defensive touchdowns in two weeks. Uh, like you said, four turnovers. Um, that's, uh, that's an offense's uh, dream scenario. Hats off to the Hawkeyes. As for the Cyclones, this is now six straight losses. Matt Campbell is still winless against the Hawkeyes. He took ownership in postgame press conference, not getting his team prepared for today's game. The stat that stands out most, six straight games that ISU hasn't forced an Iowa turnover. Some would say that's unlucky. Campbell thinks otherwise. The ball just doesn't bounce your way, right? I, I, I think that's total BS, and I always have and always will. You make the ball bounce your way, and unfortunately for whatever we're lacking right now, um, not good players, not uh, quality coaches, but some things were a hair off. Well, and obviously I would like to beat Iowa while I'm here, but, um, you know, it's just, it's just it's, it's team sport in the, uh, at the end of the day. And we didn't win today. You know, we didn't do enough to win. And, you know, we didn't get it done. Just the spirit of the locker room, we could care, you know, less about what people, you know, think, the doubts that's going to come. You know, that's nothing but fuel 
for the fire that we have. So hopefully that, you know, we could just take this on the chin as a team and respond the same ways that we responded the last few years. At the end of the day, the Hawkeyes did what they do best, winning with fundamentals and no mistakes. As for any quarterback controversy for ISU, there is none. Brock Purdy should be the starting quarterback next week at UNLV per Matt Campbell, where the Cyclones will try to bounce back in a big way.